Hello DIY Glamettes. Welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY. And today's video is eight glam DIYs with four different styles. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on your post notifications. All right, Glamettes, let's get this DIY project started. Now for DIY number one, I'm going to use this Poet Pistoner from Dollar Tree, that round calendar holder from Dollar General. We're going to use some bling wrap, our folk art metallic ice blue acrylic paint. And I'm just going to paint my vases and I'm just going to do a free pour. Uh, now, if you do a free pour, be careful because a lot of times where your acrylic paint hits your item it usually leaves a mark and you can see where the paint was sitting and it's actually a technique that you have to use to actually cover that up but i'm going to just paint this whole entire candle holder Now, one thing I do, I try to always be careful of the strokes that I make on an item so they can have a cohesiveness and also to make sure I don't leave any uh, of the bristle particles from the paintbrush onto my pieces with the paint. And we're going to do that Pilsner mug the same way as we did that candle holder globe and I'm just poured my acrylic on and I'm just painting and as you can see there is a method to free pouring as well Now, once I get these completely coated, I'm going to let them dry and I'm going to come back and add another coat till I get the desired fullness of the paint on the pieces. Now, it actually took me uh, almost three, four coats to get my pieces fully covered and the color on them is gorgeous. And I have my bling strip and I cut this one piece with the design, but I pre-cut all of my strips and we're gonna dress this uh, metallic vase centerpiece right up. So what I'm going to do first, I am actually going to layer my bling wrap just straight up on this vase and I actually cut it enough so that once I attach the top that one piece will go all the way up to the top to be glued on it will not stop at the edge of or the bottom of this vase. Now you can see how much I left extra. And I'm going just to continue to add in my hot glue. Now, you don't have to use hot glue. Always use the glue of your choice. Now what you see me doing here is I was cutting my uh, design in on the scripts and I'm also actually pulling all of my frayed ends off as well because this is going to be the piece with the design and I want it to be actually very um, cut and clean when I place it onto this globe. Thank you. 
Now, if you actually cut your bling with a design to it, make sure you get your hot glue right so that it'll stick. And I usually like to do what I call the butterfly on the edges where I just flip and they like I run loop to loop on the ends so I can actually make it attach that way. Now I'm going to add those other bling strips all around the top lip of this cylinder for my vase and I'm just going to add my pieces completely around. Now that we've added in that last piece, this is what the top of this vase uh, is actually looking like. And I'm telling you, this ice blue folk art uh, paint is actually very gorgeous. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually straightening out that bling wrap so I can position that globe on the top of that piercing glass and I'm still I'm just using my hot glue and again use whatever glue of your choice now uh, this would be a good place to actually add in that E6000 but I am actually putting that bling wrap around it so that's going to actually give you more security and I'm making sure that I line this up with that design that's on the facing of that vase. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding bling strip just around the base of the vase and the globe itself as to the or the point where they connect. So I'm going to just add that bling wrap all the way around.
Now, if you're still watching and you're not a part of this glam, fabulous family, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do want you to turn on your bell so you'll know every time we do an upload. And also, please share the channel with anyone and everyone that you think may like this content. And here on the Glam Queen of DIY, we do DIYs. We also do tablescape and home decor and renovations. We will still be doing renovations on the channel in the form of DIYs as well. But your uh, the majority of your tablescapes and definitely your home decor, you'll have to go over to our other channel, the Decor Lady, to get all of that. And the link for the Decor Lady will be down in our description box. Now we finished that DIY and you know I still made two and I'm going to give you a better angle so you can see what this piece looks like but I'm telling you that blue and that gold is gorgeous but I will tell you if I had to remake these that blue mixed in with some silver or either some rose gold would be truly fabulous fabulous fabulous. And if you're liking this DIY, comment number one down in the description. Two, also make sure you check out and get the details for the giveaway. DIY number two is this round vase centerpiece. I'm using my Walmart large vase and my strips from, uh, my bling strips from Hoochie. I'm dropping Hoochie's um, information down in my description box along with my uh, ordering code link make sure you reach out to them and get you some fabulous uh, bling products at a very 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 affordable price all that information will be down in my description now all I'm doing is I'm lining up and because this is going to be a very simple DIY I'm just lining that bottom trim and I'm using my finger as the guide, but I want to trim out the bottom on this vase. And if you're watching and you're still not a family member of this rural family, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Do make sure you tap that bell twice so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And that bell will turn blue. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's really appreciated. Now this is what it looks like with that trim on the bottom. Look at that sparkle. Now I'm going to add a 
trim to the very top of the vase as well. And we're going to just repeat the steps we did in step one till we actually cover the top of this vase also. Also, too, everyone, please make sure that you get the details for the uh, 5K giveaway. And again, everyone, I truly, truly thank you for your love and support. I could not have made it thus far without you. So make sure you catch the details so you can be entered in that 5K giveaway. And you make sure you have to follow the instructions to the T for that giveaway. I will tell you these strips of uh, diamond bling from Hooji, they are some of the strongest material that I have used to work with. And when you place them on the object, they are actually hard to actually even pull off. So please make sure you grab you some of those. Now this is that vase complete with just that little pop of sparkling shine. And if you know me, you know I like symmetry, so we done two. I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, I made some elegant glittered uh, vases and I'm using that bowl from the Dollar Tree. Now the milkshake mug, Mod Podge glitter from Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby Gems. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coat my milkshake mug with my Mod Podge. And I'm going to coat the whole entire mug with the Mod Podge. Now look at this beautiful design on this mug. And I'm going to uh, be pouring on, and this is called Ice Blue Glitter, and it came from Hobby Lobby. I know it may be giving you turquoise vibes, but it's actually a, actually like a real true to life light blue color 
And excuse me, everyone, for having my hands in the way of this clip here. Now I'm going to cover the rest of the glass with March Parch so we can completely glitter this whole entire glass. And we're going to just sprinkle the glitter over the rest of the portion of this milkshake mug. And two, if you're watching and you still have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. I do need you to hit that subscribe button. Actually helps support my channel and I truly appreciate it. Also, make sure you get the full details for that 5K subscriber giveaway also. And I was just making sure I co coated that glass very well. And now I'm going to coat the top one. And we're just going to repeat the same steps all over again for the top of this um, uh, fish bowl. It's actually a vase, but I always call them a fish bowl that came from the Dollar Tree. Now, once we finish pouring this on, we're going to let these pieces dry. And now that our pieces have dried, we're going to actually seal the glitter in. And I'm just applying Mod Podge over the whole entire uh, bowl piece. And that milkshake mug, I will do exactly the same as well. Just make sure you coat it well enough so you don't get any glitter fallout. And two, if you want to learn how to prevent glitter fallout, I dropped my video link down in that description box to show you how to prevent glitter fallout. Now that we have these pieces coated again, we let them dry for actually overnight and we're going to add on some gems to these vases. So all I'm going to do is I'm just positioning in my mind where I think these gems should go and I'm just going to just hot glue them on. And I am actually creating a pattern style to how I am gluing the gems on.
and I will also have the link for this uh, pick me up sticker the silhouette too in my description box as well and this is what the gems are looking like and I'm going to just finish it and add it on my second row of gems as well Now that we have all the gems on, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to actually glue this top to the bottom portion of this milkshake glass. And I'm just looking at the direction on how I want to glue it. And I'm only going to be using um, hot glue and a little bit of E6000. This glass has a rim as well. So I'm going to make sure I get a nice coat of that hot glue on the inside of the rim before I come back to add the hot glue to the rim portion of the glass so I can make my two pieces connect together. Now I got them glued together and I'm just cleaning up some excess glue. But this is what this piece is looking like. And if you know me, you know I had to make two. Drop me a comment DIY number seven if you like this DIY. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This ice cream shake glass, this large bowl from the Dollar Tree, silver glitter, and my crushed glass from Michaels, my Mod Podge, and my paintbrush. Now, too, you know, every time I use glitter, I always have something that I can catch my glitter so I can still repurpose that glitter into another project. So I'm just painting this shake glass. And I'm going to coat it kind of heavy because I want my glitter to stick very well. So we're going to coat it and I'm just going to paint my Mod Podge directly until I get this ice cream mug coated. And this is going to be a very, very simple uh, DIY to recreate. And two, if you're not a family member of uh, the Glam Queen of DIY, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell twice and you'll know every time that I am uploading a video. Now that we have the glass covered, I'm just going to free pour my glitter and I'm just pouring it all over the shake glass. Now too, if you're not uh, familiar with using Mod Podge, Mod Podge and glitter, I would tell you just to do this in stages because I am over zealous because I have worked with the product a lot.
and now we're getting ready to actually mod podge that bottom or, or the rim, the bottom lip, the bottom rim of the glass so we can glitter it as well. Isn't this vase looking lovely? All right, now we're finna do that top piece of the vase, and that is that Dollar Tree fish bowl in my Michael's crushed glass. Now I'm going to mod podge half of the fish bowl, and I'm going to kind of coat it semi thick so I can pour on this crushed glass. Now I'm, I'm grabbing some of the crushed glass with my hand. If you're not familiar with this product, please make sure you wear gloves. But also too, everyone, when you are putting on your crushed glass on your march, uh, on top of the March Podge, your pieces do have the tendency to slide. I just uh, actually press mine down a little so I can keep them semi in place but they'll still slide so when you get finished and it starts to dry a little you'll just have to come back and just add in more in the spots where it slid and you don't have any crushed glass. And that's it we're going to repeat step uh, one all over again adding in that mod part so we can completely cover this vase. Now we're adding that other crushed glass to the other half of the fish bowl. And like I say, it is already looking very pretty. We're going to just cover it and then let it sit to dry as well. Now this is that bottom piece already dried and that top piece and I've already started to actually put my seal on it. I actually um, poured in um, my crushed glass twice. So we're going to go ahead and get this piece ready and I'm going to have to seal this bottom portion as well. Now I'm completely resealing the top so that my crushed glass will not be falling off. Thank you. 
And so far, looking at the pieces, if you think you're going to be liking how this DIY look, drop me uh, a number 10 down in the comment section, and I'll know you favor uh, DIY number 10 over the rest. Now I'm just going to glue that ice cream mug onto that fish bowl. And I'm, all I'm using to do this is my hot glue. You always use the glue of your choice. I'm just using hot glue. And I'm making sure that I add a very thick coat of the hot glue because this bottom of this I, this milkshake mug has a ribbed bottom so that I can make sure that bowl actually connects and holds to that mug. And once you get it positioned right, just add you a little bit of pressure. And you know I had to do two, and here they are. They are truly gorgeous. You will have to go to the decor lady to see these style, but I'm gonna include a little. <laughs> 